discussing lasting impacts and key takeaways from that dark day in Alaska's history, I spoke recently with Robert Archibald in Homer. He's the board president of the Prince William Sound Regional Citizens Advisory Council. I asked him about the lessons learned from the spill and what needs to be done to prevent it from ever happening again. So, Robert, it's been 35 years. Tell us a little bit about the long-lasting impacts the Exxon Valdez oil spill had on the people in Prince William Sound. 35 years later, we still all remember that day. It was something that nobody thought would ever happen. And uh, that evening, when word got out, it was a, a crushing experience for a lot of people. And it still lingers. Uh, it affected the economy, it affected people, it affected wildlife, and it certainly infected the environment. So, you know, looking back and looking at the situation uh, today, those, those are lingering impacts, aren't they? I mean, we're not, 35 years later, we're not completely over this oil spill. You know, there's still some species of fish that haven't recovered, and there's still, you can go out and dig a hole some of the islands and still find lingering oil in the substrata. So uh, it's still there. So Robert, looking forward, what concerns do you have uh, about the future to make sure this kind of oil spill never happens again in Alaska waters? We have a aging infrastructure. We have fairly modern ships and we have a world-class escort system with two tugs going out with each laden tanker. And we have agencies that oversee the operations of the Valdez Marine Terminal and the tankers. And we have to ensure that they are fully funded, they are fully staffed, and they can ad adequately perform their duly appointed mission when it comes to overseeing safe transportation of oil. Robert, you know, these many years later, what do you think is the one biggest lesson that we learned from the Exxon Valdez oil spill? The biggest lesson to me is that ships were made by people Ships are manned by people, and things can happen anytime. There's a little fellow named Murphy out there that can make the worst things happen when you least expect it. And uh, they maintain two tug escort systems for laden tankers, which is going to ensure the safety of Prince William Sound and the safety of tra uh, tanker transits and the crew members and ultimately the environment and the people around Prince William Sound. And we have to be sure that that stays fully funded and operational as long as tankers take oil and crude oil out of Valdez Marine Terminal. All right, Robert Archibald, he's the board president of the Prince William Sound Citizens, uh, Regional Citizens Advisory Council. Robert, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Thank you, Mike.